Hi everyone, this is Diane. Today is Saturday, December 30th. So two more days in 2024. And I am working on today, I'm going to be working on organizing some of these things. First, I'm going to show you the kinds of containers that I have these things in, and I'll tell you what the things are. And then I want to reduce the containers and I've re and I ordered two containers to help contain some of these smaller things. So I have three vintage sewing machine drawers. I want to keep these because I like them and they work well on the shelves that are right above my head, right, right here behind the camera. And this box has tags and guest checks. And all I have to do is, I like to kind of keep them all organized, like all the guest checks together and then the tags in, um, see I got big ones in the front there. So I just like to put them so that the smallest is in front, etc. And then as I'm working and I'm putting things back in there, I just stick them in the front. So I just have to reorganize them again. But I'm going to leave this as it is for now. It does have a little more room, but I'll be making more tags too. This drawer, let me show you. Um, these two, the one I just showed you and this one have a plain, rather a plain front with a wooden knob, but they're quite nice. <clears throat> this one has vintage library pockets. Some came out of books and some were unused. They are on an adhesive back, but so they're not, you know, extremely old, but they are vintage. Um, and I bought those at um, flea market. But whenever I get a library book at a flea market or thrift store or something that has uh, the library pocket still in there, I take it out. So that's what's in there. And some colored, of course, new library pockets and library cards. Some of the library cards I got from the same person I bought these sticky back ones. Um, and on the last day that I was there, it was at the Barnes, he told me he found some more of these and he'll, he'll bring them. <clears throat> and I said, well, I won't be back again till next spring. So hopefully he'll bring them to me because he didn't charge me for them. He just gave them to me. I wanted to buy them, but he said, I just use them for scratch paper. You can just have them. So it's got library pockets, library cards, and these are the ones I got from Amazon. They're library cards, but they're more like paper, but I love them. They're fun to use. And that's what's in, in this one. I stuck a couple things. Postcard does not belong in there. Um, I stuck this in the front just because it's a German measuring tape craft paper measuring paper and it does not stay wrapped around itself and I don't want to put tape on it that would ruin it um, I might be able to put a rubber band on it but I think that would be tricky I mean like put it on this way it might help but for now I just stick it in here because it's just the right width and it holds it in place and this was something I just purchased from I don't know if it was the paper basket or somebody else. So I just stuck it in here till I get things organized. But mostly it's library pockets and library cards and I'm leaving that as it is right now. I'm trying to put it back on my shelf without bumping the camera. It's probably shaking the camera. Okay, and then the other sewing machine drawer I have is this one with the engraving on the front. And I think it's a little bit longer. And this one has postcards and playing cards and game cards. It's got little ones in here and just, you know, children's vintage game cards. That's from the Waltons game. And um, playing cards. And I've really reduced the amount of these kinds of cards that I keep. <clears throat> so... I think these will stay as they are. There's still room in here. This is where the postcard goes. 
And I recently um, de-stashed some more from this. So I'll probably, I like to put rubber bands around the little ones because they just slide around in there and get all messed up. So I'll organize this, but I don't think anything will change on this too much. <clears throat> so what I really need to change are these cards, these kinds of cards that I have and papers. So this is the kind of container I was looking for at Walmart because I believe I got this at Walmart before. So you can see it's stepped up. So it's it's like a, a stadium seating <clears throat> and it's wide enough to hold some, you know, pretty good sized cards. So this just has journaling cards in it of different types. Uh, they're not digital. No digitals are in here, or at least they shouldn't be. That one's a digital. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I put the little ones here and I can tuck some off to the side because it's kind of a wide. Let me tell you how wide it is. I couldn't find this at Walmart when I looked this time. Uh, it's five and three quarters inches wide. And then it just goes goes up to the bigger pieces. This came out of a magazine, and I thought they were, they'd be really fun to cut out and use. And uh, this came from a paper doll book. So I have all of these. And then I have this clear box. It's just a square box. And um, this has pretty much all vintage papers but I could use them as journaling cards. So it goes from little things like that. Uh, there's a, a little appointment calendar from, I don't know what year, but it's old. A little tiny ledger book, little pocket size, and different things like that. And going up to the bigger things, Central Railroad tablet, and a larger appointment book from 1950, Desk Diary, it's called. <clears throat> and larger until we get to the back where I have these two tablets that I really love. Uh, this is 1995, so it's not that old. Oh, that's, this is um, something different. This is a desk me memorandum from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and there's no date on it, but I really love this and this because they're not things you just find every day. And I like this one too. It's um, a moving company. And it has this header at the top, but that's not on the papers, but this is on all of the papers. So that's in the back. And then off to the side, I have, you know, other things to keep that I can use that I love. Really old, it's a different kind of a music book, like a psalm book, birthday and anniversary book. These are pages from autograph books. And there's another autograph book. And a very old birthday book with quotes. You'd put the person's name on the day that their birthday is so you could remember. And this is a recent acquisition, 100 Beauty Tips. I think that's from the 70s. So I thought those pages are fun to include. <clears throat> so these, I recently just sorted through all of this. And actually, I put stuff back in it after I de-stash stuff out of it and then I said no Diane don't be ridiculous and I went back through and took some more out <clears throat> so for example I had where is it I had two <clears throat> two of these tablets plus one that was almost gone <clears throat> excuse me and I had taken out the one that didn't have much on it and then I went back and took out the whole other tablet and I took out some more of these, just more. I had so much stuff here. Yes, it's all stuff I can use and will use and want to use, but I don't need that much of it. So it's a struggle for those of us who have been collecting all these things to finally say, well, yeah, I can let somebody else use some of this. So there's a lot of room in this now. <clears throat> so sorry. Um <clears throat> But it was packed when I started yesterday or the other day when I went through it. I'm taking a lot of time <clears throat> with an introduction here without actually getting anything done. Then I have this. I think I got at Hobby Lobby. It's got this 
divider the handle in the middle it's really cute and I want to keep this and it just has large cards like my plant cards which I never know where they are when I want them <clears throat> I always forget now these things these next things I'm going to show you are in my uh, three-tiered cart the kind that you get at I Ikea or Michael's or I, I don't know maybe you can even get, get them at Walmart now um, so it's a three-tier cart. So these are all over there, and they're not convenient for me to try to get the boxes out and access what's in the boxes. So that's why I need to make a change. Um, it has these index, these vintage tabbed cards. It has a couple of really large tags. Those are digitals. <clears throat> and I have another spot for time cards. They're going to go somewhere else. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go get some water. <clears throat> okay, I got some water. Hopefully hopefully that will help. It's that time of year, you know. Uh, just a little, just a bunch of cards, just cards. And there are recipe cards, the decorated recipe cards in this particular box and also some of the larger size uh, index cards. So I would like to keep something in this because I like this little container, but I'm not sure what yet. We'll just have to see how things play out as I organize with the new containers that I bought from Amazon. <clears throat> also down in those three-tiered carts, another drink, <clears throat> are a collection of vintage recipe boxes, the tin recipe boxes. This says colored cards and that's what it is. All colors of index cards. I love my colored index cards, but I don't use them because they're hard to access. <clears throat> this is a box that some postcards came in from a museum or something. My niece gave this to me. It was full of cards when she gave it to me. And it's just got more, a variety of cards that didn't fit in my other boxes. And I had just found these cards. They, I had done some menu stuff on them, and I thought, well, I'm not going to throw them away. So, because I can put something on top. It's just a few, a few words written on each one. <clears throat> so, I'll just keep those. And then I have this one that says dyed cards. So, these are copy dyed or other types of dye. And I need to use them. So in rethinking my space, yes, I have a lot of cards to use, but I also need to have them in a place where I will actually take, get them and use them. And then this large wooden file box, Frank J. Peters and Sons Incorporated, it says it, and it's, it's stamped on the lid, and it says 1964. And this has some tabbed index cards, which I love, and some of the divider cards, nice, thick, sturdy ones. So I have a lot of different divider cards. Some have the letters on them. Those are green. I love them. Some blue ones without letters and then some plain manila ones. Some of them are pretty old. And when do I ever use them? When's the last time you saw me use one of those? It's been a while. And then I have these with the metal tabs, which I absolutely love. And just regular index cards. They're vintage ones, though. These are not new ones. They're vintage ones. So that's why I want to keep them and use them, because you don't find vintage ones all the time. <clears throat> then I have these. They're not vintage, but they have the green bar at the top. And a few of the library catalog cards are in here. And a few of these Rolodex cards. And then the last container that I have that I want to do something different with is this, and that is uh, a friend gave this to me or else I bought it at her yard sale with stuff in it and it's from one of the scrapbooking companies that I think that they had parties creative memories or something like that close to my heart maybe it's close to my heart I don't know but it has the divider cards and it's velcroed together so if it was empty I could fold it flat could lift the bottom up and fold it flat it has this label on the back and 
snaps for something. Maybe it snapped to something. I don't know, but I just have used it to store cards <clears throat> that I have printed. So these are all digitals. And it, it works for me, but if I can combine things into a couple of boxes instead of umpteen boxes, umpteen is a real number, you know, then I'll be ahead of the game, I think. So what did I buy? I ordered two items from Amazon for organization, and I ordered them Thursday, and they came Friday. So this one we're not going to use today, but we'll use it in a future video, I think. This is a box of 30 little boxes. Each of the little boxes is two by two, and I'm going to put my different shapes of reinforcements in there, and I don't, I won't have 30 different shapes. See the different reinforcements that we cut out the other day? I'll cut more in different colors. So one box will have all of the flowers in whatever color I cut them out in. This will be all flowers. And then I can um, tape one of the one of the cut pieces on there. So I'll know just at a glance what is in each box. But I'll, I'll also be able to put other tiny little pieces in this box. And I just have to find a very handy place to put it. <clears throat> the other thing that I got that I'm going to use today is a set of these boxes. Since I couldn't find that graduated, the one, the stadium seating one at Walmart anymore, and they didn't have anything else that I wanted to use, um, I got these from Amazon, and it's a set of two, and I will link this and the set of little boxes below. And this comes with dividers. <clears throat> oh boy, more water. It's going to be a rough video. And so I can adjust the depth of each partition. this way I don't think so it's slightly wider at once at one end hmm. <clears throat> I don't know they're not going in there very well <clears throat> I hope I can use this I definitely want the dividers in it. That's why I didn't, I guess it, it doesn't have to go down all the way. I'm trying to force it further than it should go. So I'm gonna put the dividers in for now and take them out if I need to, but I think it will be easier to work on it if I have the dividers in to help contain what I'm putting in. in there now so like I said it comes in a set of two so I have two of these boxes with four dividers for each box okay I should have had that all done but I can um, remove some stuff now from my videos I know how to do that now I want to have both boxes set up so I I can uh, decide which box I want to put things in as I go through them. And I will be destashing as I go through this. I'm sorry about this, but I'll probably um, delete some of this. Okay, now they are in there. So if I successfully deleted some of this, just know that I um, was struggling to get these in. 
the, these stick up higher. Some of them stick up higher, so I don't know, but they're in there. And now we are ready to go. So hopefully I deleted some of that fussing that I did. So let's, let's start with these. I really need to get the cards out of these boxes. And these are wide enough. Let me tell you the dimensions. These acrylic trays are uh, six and not quite seven inches tall, uh, wide. And they are about 14 inches, almost 15 inches long. And it's just perfect for the shelves above my head. They do just hang off the, shelf, the front of the shelf a tiny bit. Um, not that it's going to make them in danger of tipping, but it's going to make them easy to grab. So they, ha they have a nice width to them. And I really like the colored cards, and I don't want to get rid of any of them yet. So do I want to put them in like that? I think it's, it'll be harder to get them out that way. So I'm going to put them in like this. And save on some space. So they all fit. That's one of my card, my card boxes. I do want to keep my card boxes because I like them. So I'm, I'm thinking of something else to do with them. So will two packs of cards fit there? Oh my goodness, look at that. So that's colored cards and dyed cards in one compartment. I don't want to get rid of any of the dyed cards either because I worked for them. <laughs> okay. Now that's exciting. All right, now I have recipe cards from that white metal box with the handle in the middle that came from um, Hobby Lobby. So because they are decorated cards, I want them in the front where I can see them better because they have the decoration on them. Um, I'll just, these are printed. They have recipes on them. I'm putting the blank ones in this section right here. And I recently, well, sort of recently, destashed my recipe cards, so I don't want to destash any of these. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I have any of these decorated recipe cards in my cooking cookbook journal supplies. I keep some separate so that I can you know, use them in any kind of journal. So I may have more of these. I'm not sure. So that's all. Wait, I have bigger ones too. That's all I have of this size of, of uh, recipe cards. So these are recipe cards too. And I can put them like that so that I still see the cards behind. But they're in still in with the recipe cards so I don't forget about them. Then I can go to my cookbook journal supplies and get some of these printed cards that I have. Those are just someone glued recipes on, but things like that, that, that are printed. I can put some of those in here and use them in any kind of journal. So they don't have to be put away with my cookbook stuff, you know? All right. Um, so I'll fill this up with recipe cards, and then I have index cards. And then I have, see these boxes are going to be real heavy to get down from my shelf when they're full of all these cards. And then this one. Um, I am going to destash these because I have so many cards that I, and I don't go for these that often. These are dyed ones. So these will be in my D-stash stuff. Um, I've got some colored ones. Apparently my stash of colored cards was over, was too full, was too many for that box. So I, you know, put the overflow in that box. They were just loose in my cart until I decided to use that lidded box, the flip lid box. Another dyed card. This one even has an embellishment on it, so this can go with my. I'll take these out that I, I cut the corners on some. So, really, they're ready to go in a journal, or I could add a die cut to them. So, I just punched an element out. 
So any that have been decorated can go into my ready-made journal cards. Okay. So these are ombre colored cards and they have rounded corners. I'm gonna just put them with my colored index cards. It's getting to be tight in there now, but I think that's all of them. Oop. Oops, I got a few more. And these are vintage index cards. And I found some more recipe cards. Vintage card, colored card. I think I cannot have any more colored cards, so these will go in the D-stash. They don't have lines on them. More recipe cards. And let's see, this is a sort of a, like a ledger card, account number, date, item, debit, credit, balance. I just think they're cool looking cards. I probably got them from an Etsy seller and I dyed that one. So I'm going to start a new box. I may have to, to move these if I put something smaller in the front, we'll see. So any ledger type of cards We'll go in the front here for now. This one is a time card, but because of the shape, I'm putting it in here with these. Then I have the larger five by seven cards. So I'm, I can put all sizes of five by seven in here, I think for now. Um, these are dyed five by seven. I don't have a ton of five by seven. So the colored ones, the dyed ones, the plain ones, they can all go right there. And I think that's, that's all of them. So I'm going to move these up here with the ledger ones. We don't want to waste space. Now, well, I'm gonna set this aside for now because I'm gonna focus on this one. Oh, it fell on the floor, it slid right off the tray I put it on. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm getting them out of this, this box now. And I have some of the ledger type of cards in here. So these are the, um, vintage and I'll put the ledger ones here and I'm going to de-stash all of these and then these are library cards so I'll put them with the ledger I'll put them behind the ledger because I have very few of the ledger ones and I want to remember that they're there Some more library ones. Some dyed. I have some grid. I have some dyed ones, but I thought I had some plain ones, but I don't know where they are, if I still, maybe I dyed all the rest that I had. That doesn't matter. I have enough cards that I don't need to have grid ones. So now I have all these tabbed cards and I think I need to get rid of some. Oh, these are Rolodex. I'm gonna add them right there. So I'm keeping these. These are probably ones that were in a photo box where you store your photos. And some of these I think were die cuts. That one looks aged. Oh yeah, it is. That's an old one. So these came out of a Rolodex. 
but it's little. I don't want it to get lost in there. I'm not sure where I'll put that. These were cut from a die cut, from a die. And then these are made to go into a dot matrix computer. There's a lot here, so I'm gonna de-stash some. Now I'm hoping that when these are out and I can see them and remember them, I'll be using them. So I'll keep this many for now. I may end up destashing more eventually. I have a bunch of these cards that have they've just been sitting on the desk in front of me, and I've been using them for scratch paper. Um, but these came with the recipe box, like the Betty Crocker recipe library. These were blank cards that people could write their recipes on. So now I have a place to put them. Oh, I've got more of the, there's the grid cards, library catalog cards, catalog cards. I had a ton of catalog cards that I got from my local library and I de-stashed so many of them. I sold some and then de-stashed some. It's been several years since I acquired them. These are vintage. That one's really vintage. That's actually um, natural aging there. That one's damaged. Um, that's a new one. I don't have a category for that yet. Vintage. They're just slightly discolored. That's how I know they're vintage. See how white that one looks in comparison? So I'm thinking I'll pretty much just keep the vintage index cards in here because I have enough of them and they're not so vintage that they're fragile. They're very usable. So I don't need any of the new ones. I will put them in my desk in my right where I'll be doing my Bible study and I write in um, scripture cards on them, uh, scripture verses. These came from a some things out of place here. These came from a recipe book, one of those gifts in a jar kind of recipe books. And I just cover up the back and then that can be used for journaling. So they're just fun cards. So just kind of miscellaneous cards right here for now. That's like the green one, but it has peach on the edge. So I'm de-stashing that. Um, but these are new cards that I will keep and use in here because I'll just use those for my own crafting, for making journals, but I'll cover that part up. So I'll put that in the back here with those square cards that came with the recipe box. And these are grid cards. They have a, a grid design on them. So I'll put them here with the miscellaneous. So now I have this category back here with some tabs. And you know I have a bunch of the tabbed cards, so I'm putting... Those, I don't think they can go side by side because of the tabs. That's kind of small. And these are vintage with the, they're just discolored on the edges, so I'll keep those. These, I don't know where they came from. I don't remember. But I'm going to get rid of about half of them because I certainly don't need that many. And I'm keeping the blue because I only have three of the blue. They're very sturdy ones. They're, they're vintage. They don't make things that thick anymore. And I really, really like these with the lines on them. So it's like an actual index card, but it's tabbed. And I'm going to put that right in the front. And I wanted to keep all of the green ones because I love the green, but that is way more than I need. So, 
So, and this box is empty. I've got these cards to deal with, but the box is empty. I might see if I can cut a card to fit in between the two stacks. You know what I mean? Put something in there to keep them from sliding into each other. And now I can get this box out of the way and pick up the one that fell on the floor. Okay, now how many of these can I keep? This is my D stash pile so far. Um, I'm so OCD, they have to be in order. A, B, C, D. C and E. F, G, H. And I have an extra G, H. I, J, K, L, M, I, K, M, N. Apparently I have two sets of these. There's an extra Mick and an L and an M and an N. And I don't have an O. L M N P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I'm just going to keep one set, and it's even missing a couple. Now I have all of these little ones. So I guess, I guess I'll tuck them in the front of this miscellaneous stack. dyed one. It's a tab, but it's dyed, so I'm going to put it with the dyed cards. Okay, now can I put anything else in here? Oh, I've got more in here. Um, these are the larger size tabbed cards. That I cut with my Cricut a long time ago. Got some big tags in there. So these I coffee dyed. I'm keeping those. Well, now my tab section is is really too full. So I want some of the larger ones. That means I have to rethink. I'm going to put the dyed ones and the plain blue ones in here. And these are vintage ones from a recipe book. I'll keep some, but not all. Maybe I can... I got a whole box of these years ago at a flea market, and I sold all but these. Well, I've used some, too. So I don't want to get rid of any more of them, but I'll, I'll get rid of a few of these. Laundry, desserts poultry, vegetables, pickles, I'll let that one go, preserves, puddings, what, a category for puddings, pastry, okay, I didn't get rid of many, but I got rid of a couple, all right, so I'm going to have to get rid of some of these, I guess, do I have to get rid of some of the metal ones? I can get rid of some more of these vintage tabbed ones. I'll take out five of them. And 
in some more of these. But these are great because they're like a blank slate, you know? Start from scratch and they're not vintage so they don't feel so precious that you have to be so careful. Um, and I'll get rid of, I don't want to get rid of the blue ones. I already said that. And now they all fit in there. But what about these miscellaneous cards? Like the plant cards. I still have another box to fill. So let's, let's do something different here. Am I running out of time yet? Oh, we're getting close. Since these are index cards, they're just large ones, I'm going to keep them all in here because there's room. So these are dyed and undyed large index cards, and they are going to go right, can you see what I'm doing? Right in the back here. And then I might as well put the ledger ones in here also. So then the other box can just be used for miscellaneous um, I wanted to put the journal cards. I'd like to put the journal cards and the digital journal cards together, but I don't know. We'll see. So these are going to go in that other box. And that's going to have to be another video. I do have a little more space for stuff, but I don't really want to keep more stuff. This is, this is enough. I don't need more. So I really like this. Um, it's not extremely heavy. I'll have to be careful taking it down off the shelf. I can't just reach from where I am sitting because it's the second shelf up. And I can reach it and pull it down, but I will need two hands to support the back as it comes off the shelf. So I'll have to stand up to get it. But I have to stand up. I don't even have to take a step. So I'm going to put this on the shelf. It might shake the camera because the camera is attached to that shelf. Oh, it's lovely. You'll get to see a view of it sometime. Okay, so I have that. And I guess for the next video, I'll be sorting this one. I hope you'll come back for that because this is going to be more than index cards. This will be miscellaneous things like the plant cards and the large tags and this box full of vintage papers, vintage goodies. That's such good stuff in there. And I hope to, well, I do want to keep this because I like this container. Um, so I'm, I'll just reorganize it, rethink it. And maybe this is where my digitals will go because this is really hard to maintain. We'll just have to work it through. So come on back for more as I am puzzling this out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, keeping me company as I did my work. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you're being creative or organizational today. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.